Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This time the question comes from Joy who asks about displacement maps. She says, I downloaded some displacement maps, but I can't seem to find where to put them so that I can use them. And the answer is you can put them anywhere you want because the way the displace filter works is you have to go looking for the displacement maps. So basically you would save those files anywhere you wanted and just make note of it. So here, for example, I have just made a simple layer of stripes and I want to use the displace filter. So first of all, personally, I would convert to a smart object so I can run it as a smart filter just because it gives me some options. Then I would go to displace and try some numbers and then when I click OK it's going to say now where is that displacement map so if you have a folder somewhere and really it's up to you as where you put it you just have to find the file that you want inside there and say there's the displace map that I want to use I hit open and it's going to displace accordingly the image now just as an aside depending on the map itself, what it looks like, sometimes it's not a bad idea to do this. Open up the displacement map that you used, drag it onto your photograph, and then try changing the blend mode to something like multiply and lowering the opacity. And sometimes that just sort of accentuates the displace there because it's putting shadows in the same area. That doesn't always make a huge difference here it's making a little bit of a difference but the real answer to the question was doesn't matter where you put displacement map it's not like presets for something else like brushes or something where it has to go in a particular place you can put displacement maps anywhere you want and when you go to run the displace filter you just have to open it from that location ask your short photoshop question using the contact form here at kelby tv or through twitter at dave cross Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.